Oh, we're losing a sticker. Sorry, right, we're losing this one too. I got some sick stickers now though. I'm not gonna lie, I've been slacking. I've just, I've just been doing too much. I'm in Canmore right now. I just spent the last week in Vancouver. My cousin and my girlfriend flew down. Went snowboarding in Whistler, went cave diving. Did a bunch of shit. Roll some clips. It opens up in here. Yeah, fuck that shit. Yeah, that's what I'm fucking terrified. Some dude died in there. Still in there? Yeah, he's still in there. If you survive. Yeah, if you make it out. Holy shit, dude. This is nuts. I ran out of water, so it's time to get some more spring water. Thank God they got a really good spring here. Ah. So I know I haven't been updating the vlog. If you've been following me on Instagram, boom. Um, I'm on my way back to Ontario. Right now we're in Regina in Saskatchewan, but tonight's gonna be negative 41. Saskatchewan's always cold, it's flat, it's windy. So I'm gonna show you how I heat the van. You open up the side door, in here is my cab battery. And this is what my heater runs off of. This switch here connects this battery to the the actual car battery. So when the alternator is charging the van battery, when this switch is on, it charges this battery. And that's how it doesn't die all the time. Boom, now it's charging. So this here is the heater controller. So that little thing in there regulates the heat inside the van. So if I set it for, let's say 19 degrees Celsius, it'll stay at 19 degrees Celsius. So that there is the heater. It's a diesel heater I got off Amazon for maybe 250 bucks. It has an air intake at the bottom and an exhaust that comes out over here. That, this little guy here, that's the exhaust for the heater. My cousin actually helped me put that in. The little heater engine runs off diesel. If the van was actually diesel, then I could just connect the fuel line into the actual van fuel tank but I can't because it's gas, so I have a separate tank here. I have that tank there that I fill up with diesel, which runs through this line outside the van. That gas pump, and then it fuels back in, into the engine. Pumps heat through here, underneath the bed. Ugh. And I have another one connecting to the front. I've never had a problem with it, um, knock on wood. So yeah, that's how I keep the van warm. So, little fact, um, the van has crabs. Legit, like, sea crabs. Because when we were in BC, I took all these pieces of wood and see all these little holes? There was little baby crabs living in those holes. So once I put it in the van, I went to go fill the diesel one day. I lifted up the piece of wood in my snowboard and there was a bunch of little baby crabs living under there. At least like 15 crabs. I feel bad because obviously they're not gonna survive, but I mean, I didn't know they were in there. So yeah, the van had crabs, but for real, it's too cold. It's too cold here. You can't even enjoy yourself. So, I got a hotel. I was down to do it. I was gonna stay in the van, and I was gonna make a video out of staying in the van in negative 41 degrees. But my lovely mother is too worried 
and she won't be able to sleep. So my mom got me a hotel. She was too worried. Everyone, go write in the comments. Say thank you, Lucy. Thank you, Lucy. Love you, Lucy. Love you, mom. Thank you. I'll be home in a couple days. It's time to edit. Twenty-five king size cigarettes. Twenty-five king size cigarettes. Twenty-five king size cigarettes. Twenty-five king size cigarettes. Twenty-five king size cigarettes.